Hey guys, I've been doing some testing with UV sources recently and recommending some sources as well. And uh, I just thought it would be useful to go over the safety aspects of growing at UV. I've got my ultraviolet safety meter here and I'm just going to test um, these sources. I've got the Solar Cure, Flower Power, I've got a Reptile UVB bulb here, uh, which I recommended the Exoterra 200. And I have the um, QTX fluorescent um, here as well, uh, compact fluorescent. And I'm going to test each of these. First of all, I went outside, midday sun, and just did a check with this thing to see what it says about uh, you know regular environment, just to get a, a bit of perspective. We just to get a reference point. I'm out here in the midday sun in early September in Dublin rare sunny day gaps in the clouds anyway and uh, just testing the uh, normal exposure that we'd expect from the sun i've just tested with the Ascensitec passport and uh, you know we've got the nice full spectrum of the sun and we've also got uh, 1734 power level uh, 1734 PPFD <clears throat> and let's see what the, the maximum would be about 2000 and if we use our ultraviolet safety meter it's our solar light ultraviolet safety meter and we point this at the Sun it is telling me I can only be out here for one tenth of an hour which seems um, a little bit uh, overly sensitive, a bit cautious, a bit conservative. Um, I certainly wouldn't expect to get burnt out in this sun in September in less than half an hour, but uh, I guess this is um, being on the safe side. Okay, so I've tested the light sources outside and we're looking for any of these to be higher than a 0.1 and I'm going to use a measurement about 30 centimeters or a foot away to determine about the safety as that's as likely as close as you're going to be for any period of time. Um, so yeah let's test these lights individually. I'll just switch on the overhead light first so we can see what we're doing. Okay let's look at this QTX light first. I recommended this online. It's a cheap uh, compact fluorescent black light uh, available on Amazon and uh, yeah let's see how uh, how careful we need to be how strong is it so we've got our unit on and from one foot away or 30 centimeters away it's measuring a five but we don't have to be too concerned with that you've got to be very close to it it's only a few centimeters away or an inch away before it gets concerned. Next is the Exoterra UVB 200. It's a 14 watt bulb and we are one foot away and it's 0.26. Okay, so small little bulb but um, quite powerful. You get to 15 centimeters or six inches away and it's a 0.1. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend, it, wouldn't recommend a lot of exposure to this bulb, so try and stay out of grow room when it's on. Let's check the Solar Cure. It's a 40 watt, 3.5 foot, 1 meter long bulb, and we are going to go a foot away from it. And, oh, okay. This is problematic. This is a 0 0.04, 0 0.05. This is higher than um, the sun and we've got to be two feet away before it's the same as being outdoors um, at midday sun so this got this uh, solar cure it's the flower power EU uh, as I said 40 watt T12 so these specialist UV bulbs for um, for growing 
Yeah, I'd recommend uh, using glasses if you have them. They'll protect your eyes, UVC, and, and uh, the higher energy UVB doesn't go through glass. Um, preferably have them timed so that they're going on when you're not in the room. And if you have to be in the room with them when they're on, just limit your time to maybe less than five minutes or so. And uh, stay safe. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.